It is snowing on this beautiful day in January. Here we are. We are at 1049 27th Street. So if you uh, take a look here, it's an all brick home. It's had a few issues with the foundation, but in the notes about the home, uh, it says that the foundation has been shored up with, what did they call them? I can't remember, Oct octagon type or some sort of a helical tubing underneath the house. Cost about $40,000 for the seller to do that and it's completely paid for. Uh, so there's nothing that they owe on it anymore. And there shouldn't be any issues with the foundation of the home. So uh, if you're interested in this one and you were worried about foundation issues, the, uh, the work is actually guaranteed until like 2043 or something like that is what the note said. But let me be sure about those before you quote me and uh, look up the home and the info before I give that to you exact. But let's go in. I've got it unlocked here. It's got a charming color to it and some fun things like this really cool light out front. The old mailbox slot, I think, looks like they still use that. And we'll go inside. All right, right inside we've got a coat closet for guests. A little teeny thing with a window in it, it's kind of cute. And then the home has been remodeled and it, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. I do feel like I'm still leaning as I walk through here. There's a slope to the floor. You can kind of see that. Nice little slope to the floor. But the house is in good shape from what I can tell. And if they're, if they're going to guarantee the work and you feel good about that and want to see it, then let's go in and see it. Nice brand new kitchen space. Granite countertops, newer cabinets. It's even got a lazy Susan over there. Appliances in this one stay. Here's a bedroom. Looks like they're counting this one as the master. I don't want to get the carpet dirty, but they've got a closet in here with some built-ins. Looks like a built-in tie rack or shoe rack, I guess. There's your door to the basement. We'll go down there in a second. Side closet, not much to really see in there. And some more built-ins in the hallway. Hope it's focusing well enough for you. It doesn't look like it's focusing for me. Quite a bit of storage room there for linens. We got bedroom number two in here, upstairs. Also with a closet that looks almost big enough to walk in there. That's a good size closet. We'll move into the bathroom upstairs. A little pedestal sink with some storage underneath it. Tub shower combo with this awesome arch. I love that. But even me being a short guy, I feel like that's a short shower. We're back around to the front room where you come into the front of the house. Just give a little bit of a view here and then we'll run downstairs. All right, downstairs we go. Might need some light down here. Got some open space, really awesome family room here, living area. Throw the TV up in one of these areas on the wall. Put some nice couch furniture in here. Here's another bedroom downstairs. Two big windows. Let in a lot of light with the closet. Not sure what this door is, I missed it. Good size closet there, whoops. And I think we have what, one more bathroom down here and a bedroom, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this was a three bedroom, never mind. 
We've got some storage in here. The old coal chute. And another storage unit there in the same coal chute, coal room. And over here's your laundry. Kind of dark over here. There's no light currently that I can see. Probably want to get one of those installed before it goes too far. But those are some huge timbers for your uh, truss work. Go around to this other room over here that I missed. So yeah, here is oof, that fan's angry. Here's bad bathroom number two. It's a three-quarter bath. It's a shower and the bedroom. Final bedroom. Alright. Hope you enjoy this house. Give me a call.